Hey, Shalom, brothers. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Brother Thumb. Shalom, Shalom. 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 at you once again through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. With me, I have Elder Tazadakba. Elder Tazadakba and Aibad Ya'ala. And we're going to come out at you with the word of the Heavenly Father. Because as you know, the times we're in, man, is, is you know, it's very crucial on every single level. All right. And um, we see this guy, you know, this guy Trump is in office now, and we see his antics, right? I mean, this dude just got, this dude just got inaugurated, what, five days ago? Not yeah. even five days ago. Yeah. And this dude, I mean, we used to, we used to, we used to talk about how, going back to G.W. Bush, mm -hmm. how he, oh, he's going to pass this executive order. And we used to make a big deal about it. He'll yeah. barely, he'll barely pass an executive order here right. and there. Then you had Obama. Oh, yeah, he'll pass. And he'll barely pass. That'll be some bullshit executive orders. Yeah. This nigga got in the office, your boy, you know, red, red, the red, I call him the red bird, right? Donald J. Trump. Yep. This dude just got, I mean, today, Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday. Yeah. I buy you. Today's Wednesday. How many, how many, um, January, January, how many executive January. orders did this guy pass? This guy passed 12 executive actions so far. Satan's hey. rolling line. Well, so far, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> this is article, I'm gonna break it down. This is the article. Um, you could, if you brothers want to look it up, is www.pbs.org, and the title of the article is 12 Executive Actions Trump Has Signed." Has signed so far. All right. So it says on on working day two of the Trump administ administration, it seems worthwhile to set aside. The high wire battles over words. Let me skip down. Yeah, yeah, get to the yeah, get, 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 get here's, to the degree. Here's the list of Trump's executive action actions so far, starting with the most recent. Twelve, the border wall. All yeah, right? right the right the wall. Because um Trump wants to um erect a, a border wall along the coast where um the border of US United States and Mexico. All right. Which that's totally off to the scriptures because this land actually was the the Issachar, which the Mex so called Mexicans are the tribe of Issachar. They're one of the, the tribes of the nation of Israel. All right, so they they have more claim to this to this land than these devils have claim to this land. All right, we gotta get that first and foremost out the way. All right, but for them. And that goes to show you that um, John 10 and 10, that so-called white man, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill, all right? So so so-called white man, he wants, so-called white man, he wants to keep everything that he stole, all right? So now he wants to erect a, a, a border wall to keep out the so quote-unquote illegal, the quote-unquote, you know, undesirables, all right? So it says uh, the border wall. It says in this order, President Trump states it is the policy of the United States to immediately construct a wall on the southern border. All right. The border, the order directs agencies to begin planning and identify funding for the project, including sending requests to Congress. It also directs agencies to construct or contract out for more detention more detention facility all right cuz what they want to do what they're going to do they're going to start going throughout every state well each city in every state each major city in every state and they're going to start looking out for quote unquote illegals if you hear um if you might be from uh, Mexico you might be from Guatemala you might be from Panama you might be from Nicaragua you know, you might be from Colombia. All right. You know, all of these, yeah. all of these people I'm naming are Israelites. I got a scripture for you. Okay. All right, this is First Peter's five and eight. It said, and this is for us, you know, the Israelites, the brothers that, that are woken up, and also too for you brothers that are just getting ready to be woken up, because a lot of brothers are going to start coming in big time. Because hey, up, up until the last second before those missiles hit America, brothers are going to be woken up, man. You know. Yeah. But this brother, we're going into that, you know, the executive orders of uh, Donald J. Trump. And this is a scripture that came to mind. Okay. This is First Peter 5 and 8. It says, be sober, be vigilant. And that goes for every last one of us, man. 
You know, we gotta be sober. What does it mean to be sober? In other words, our mind gotta be totally into this. Because let's face it, man, ain't nothing out here. It's all everything out here is fucking bullshit, as we all know. You know, and it says be vigilant. It says because your adversary, and the word adversary means your enemy, the devil. All right. Now that is talking about spiritual demon Satan, but it's also talking about physical Satan, which is the so-called white man. That's right. Right, and right now they're right. Yeah, his counterpart. Right now, his face is the one who you call Donald J. Trump, right? Mm -hmm. That dude, I mean, that, that dude, brother, is what, day four, day five, whatever the fuck it is. This, this dude is, yeah. so things could happen like that, man. Yeah. There's no, in other words, you can't call it what this guy's going to do next. No. And don't and don't and don't have it in your mind because a lot of these idiots out here, they really believe. You know, before he came into office, it seemed like Barack Hussein Obama was trying to get that war with Russia started like that. Yep. So now you common idiots thinking, oh well, you know, Donald Trump is cool with Vladimir Putin. Don't believe the hype. They're not, since when were they cool? All right, and even if they are cool, the Lord said he'll put hooks. He's gonna put hooks in their jaws and bring them back. You know. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful, man. Hey, beautiful. Hey, hey, the elder I not just got back from. Yeah, he was here earlier. He had to go out, you know, out there and do deal with deal with that, his, that shit out there. But now he's back. But anyway, it says be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion. So right now, let's bring it to a physical level. Trump. Let's bring it to Trump. That fucker's like a roaring lion right now, man. Yeah. Yeah. He, he now he he's he's getting ready to pass another executive order. I don't know if he passed it already, where he's going to send Fed the Feds up into Chicago, because in his own words, it doesn't look like they're doing anything over there. The crime rate is is hell. Nobody's doing anything about it. So I'm going to send I'm going to sign an executive order and send dudes in there to fix you niggers. And, and a lot and a lot and a lot of you niggers going to be fixed. Sorry, fuck it. Right now, that's that's basically what he, what it is. He's going to send the troops up in there to get you niggers. So it's like you it's gonna be urban warfare. I mean it's already urban warfare there in the streets of Chicago anyway. That's right. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna give you urban warfare. I mean you are uh, you offing each other in record numbers out there in Chicago, yeah. in gangland. Yeah. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna he's gonna send his best killers out there to come at you, to come and get at you with the top equipment. Yep. They're gonna use a GPS tracking, they're gonna use all kinds of shit, man. Satellites, everything. They got it. But Street overall, lights, overall, cameras, they're gonna use everything. Yeah, Elder Tazadak is right. But overall, the reason why they're going to do it is because it's the spirit of the Lord that's pushing them to do it. Because the Lord is tired of you wicked ass niggas, man. You drug dealers, you fucking adulterers, you know, you murderers. The Lord is tired of you, man. And the Lord is going to well, wipe you out. Yeah, they said this. Uh, uh, that's us, us, it's every last one of you coons in the four corners of the earth. But especially over there in Chicago, man, they call that, they call that place where they said it's. Yeah, Chirac. 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 And you Chirac. niggas take pride in that. And, that, and that's uh, basically, you have more body count there than any, all the wars that Esau's involved with combined. Yeah, more than Afghanistan, more than Iraq, more than Syria. All, like, all, like you said, all combined. You combine all of three of those conflicts, and there's more people dying in Iraq. Yes. In, in Chicago. Chicago. Con. Chirac. Right. So, so this is real quick, you know what you got to call that executive order? Mm -hmm. Executive order... Willie Lynch, how to keep your niggers in check. That's why you call it for real? Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Right here, on the low, they probably call yeah. it that, but... Yeah. I won't be surprised. <laughs> no, I, 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 thought, I thought you pulled something off the, off the press over there. No, no. Yeah, but I won't be surprised. Yeah. It says, so it says, be sober, talking about us, be vigilant, especially in the times we're in right now, man. That's why the spirit is, you know, from the top, on, from the top down, is heavy on brothers being serious about this thing. And basically, as Yahweh Shai says, Remembering our first love, man. Our first and only love. God, that's right. You know, you know, you know we got to be serious about it, all of us. Yep. But anyway, it says here, be sober, be vigilant. I got the definition if you want. It. For which one? Vigilant. Beautiful. Bring it on out, Elder I, bud. Uh, vigilant, it means watchful, observant. Watchful, observant. Yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, somebody, get, give me the I, not, uh, I stand up by my watch. How about book? I bring it on out right now. Watch as well as pray. Watch as well as pray. You can get that one, I buy. Yep. You know, bring all the, all those watch scriptures out. Yep. That's our job is to watch. All right. Yeah. 
in the in the ancient times when you had guys that were in you know if you were in war or even if you're not at war you had your guardsmen that sat on their watch on the on the towers in whatever city you're in if you came in there and you found your guardsmen were sleeping what what happened to those guardsmen they killed them right they even showed you that that movie it means it'd be just a movie but the point is still in there enter the dragon Remember when Bruce Lee on Enter the Dragon went and snuck around, uh, spying, beat the shit out of Han's men and shit? Yeah. So the next day, Han was like, look, somebody in here is doing shit. I mean, I guess my hospitality wasn't enough for some, somebody. But who it is, is not important right now. But what is important is that my gods yeah. were sleeping. And they had them all get killed by Bolo Young. You know? And one of the kings of Israel, when they was killing the servants of Baal, he said, lock the door. He said, if any of them get out, your blood for their blood. Yeah. You know, so y'all serious in this. Right. We're on the watch looking out for the service of Baal and his executive orders and all his other works. You know? Yeah. Just to show you how serious that is. Cut. You got that in Habakkuk? Cut. This right. is Habakkuk 2 and 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set, and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he shall say with he will say unto me. Right, the scripture says the Lord does nothing, but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yeah. Right? Was that Amos 3 and 7? Yeah. Right? The Lord, who are the prophets? We're the prophets. So what are the words we're speaking is the words of the Heavenly Father. We're letting you know what's going to happen before it happens. We're the trumpet. Yeah. We're the ones to warn you. Warn who? First, first and foremost, the elect of Israel. But we're also warning the wicked of Israel. And we're letting, the, we're letting the heathens know about themselves and know what's about to come to their ass. We let Esau, the so-called white man, know what's going to happen to him, what's going to befall him, you know? Yeah. So we're the watchmen. And that's why, that's why they um, have a media block on us. Because they know the words that we speak is the truth. The Illuminati, the bankers knew of us, that we we're going to be around in these times. All right? Go on. So let's start from the top again. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. Right, and I gotta keep I keep saying it. Some dude, I think it was one of them niggas that called themselves making a um threat against us from I don't know, Wisconsin, wherever the fuck they was at. Mm -hmm. But it was like, yeah, them guys, all they do, they watch news and go out there and talk about what they saw. Well, nigga, we we're the watching. Exactly. Right. Yeah. What does it mean watching? Ain't talking about watching the black bitch's ass. That's right. It's talking about watch what's going on. And not only watch, but blend it in with the scriptures, the Bible. And then bring it on out to the brethren. Yep. Yeah, I wish I had yeah. watch and pray. And Esau's mad because the times we're living in now, you got more, man, you got watchmen set up throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Yep. Go on. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will, will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Right. What I shall answer when I'm reproved. By who? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? That was it on that? Or there's yeah. more? I got, I got one for you. I got, I got how there is more. Yeah, I, Lord, I, I thought there was more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that reading. The Bible. Who wrote the Bible? Great men of Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh Shai. Israelite. First of all, they were Israelites. That's right. Huh? Black men. Was that Peter and Peter? Right? Right. Peter's um, a scripture that comes to my mind is um, um, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, calls them to be written in paper. For they are faithful. And for true. they are faithful and true. What's that? The words of the heavenly Father. That's right. The book that we read out of. Yep. Yep. It says, right. and the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for appointed time, but at the end." It shall speak. Right. The vision is for an appointed time. And that right. appointed time is the time we're coming in right now. Yeah. And what does it mean it shall speak? Meaning everything you read about is come, gonna actually come, come to, to pass. come to pass. Right. You're gonna see it right yes, sir. It's lucky. You're gonna see it right before your eyes. Yeah. Good. Yes, sir. Right. Well, because the vision is speaking right now. Um I got something you finished right now? Yeah, it's more of a you, you, Yeah, yeah, go where you go and you'll come right back. Uh this is Luke twenty one and uh thirty six. It says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. See, a prayer, brother, it goes that prayer again, man. 
Yeah, man, because some crucial time is coming, man. Yeah. Some horrendous times, man. Yeah. Martial law, you know, you know, the police state. Oh, shit, you know, yeah. RFID microchip, you know, the famines, the race wars. Yeah, and speaking of the RFID chip, don't be surprised he's gonna pass another executive order to chip all those um, immigrants, yeah. man. So they don't, so they make sure they don't make a re-entrance so they can track them. That's the next logical yeah. step. <laughs> now I, I heard something on uh, CNN because I was watching on uh, CNN a little bit earlier today before I came here, and I can't remember the Jake's name. He's, he has some position in the government. He was saying that Trump, like he, he I don't think he said he passed an executive order, but he said that there's conversation out there that he's like telling people in the government not to uh not to blow the whistle on certain things just to keep their mouth shut and this guy was like listen if anybody out there knows of anything that's going on any corruption or anything you come to me then he was saying that he had documents to prove that trump put the word out telling people look don't blow the whistle on certain things just keep your mouth shut he issued like a gag order the guy was talking about yeah, this was on uh, cnn he said he got Documents to prove it and everything. He was saying, "Look, if there's, he's a part of the government. I, I don't know what position this Jake holds, but he was like, look, if anything is going on, and, and it needs, you need to speak about it, and you need to blow the whistle. You come to me and you let me know about it." Yeah. So he's this guy. He got he he's doing all kinds of shit out there, man. Yeah. I don't know if y'all remember this. I was thinking about when he said he wanted to build that wall. Yeah. And you know, we talk about the chip. If y'all remember this movie with Vin Diesel, it was called Babylon AD. I don't know if y'all ever seen that. I heard of it, but I never. Basically, never you know, for like it was like America was like you need you needed like special you needed the chip to get back into America, pretty much, you know. And they had the wall, you know, the wall up. So everything that. <laughs> hey, you know, it's you know funny too. I mean, that? um, that, 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 I was listening to the news today. You know what was one of the, the biggest books sold so far for this year? George Orwell's 1984. All of a sudden, everybody want to buy George Orwell's 1984. You know? You're living. You ain't got to read the book. You can watch the movie. You're in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 you're in it. Are you buying the worst your money for the book? And you can get it for free. That's you. Yeah, yeah. You're in it. It's going to get worse. They was also saying on CNN, I caught word with a guy. They were saying that that the Mexican government wants to work with 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 Trump to build that wall because they said that most of the illegals that's crossing through the Mexican border into America are not Mexicans. There's people from Argentina and different places in South America that are coming up and crossing yeah. into the United States through the Mexican border. Yeah. So he was saying that the Mexican government wants to work with Trump to build the wall, so, you know, to stop those illegals from, you know, different South American countries from coming through Mexico yeah. as a pathway in. Yeah. That's right. So, so you got to track them. And so, yeah, so you got a chip. That's, that's right. The, that's the artifact. That's what the next microchip. That's the next wave, you know. Because also, they, they come up with that cashless society, also. Yeah. You know, they're doing away with cash like they did in India. They did away with a whole denomination of, of their currency. All right. That was just a testing, testing ground to see, you know, what the reaction was going to be. You know, and they're going to do it. They're going to just continue to do that different currencies around the world until eventually. Physical cash is done away with, and you have a cashless society to set it up for what the RFID microchip, you know, Good. which is the mark of the beast. Hey, um, to the Bible. Come, so what you was reading, brother? Um, it was uh, is Luke 21 and 36. I read it again. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come. See, to so pass. we got to watch and we also got to pray, yeah. we got to teach. You know, we got to prophesy, and we got to pray. We got to pray, man. You know, that prayer is very important for for all of us, man. Yeah. You know, that's what strengthens you. You the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei man. That's the, yeah, the power of prayer. The scripture say First Thessalonians five, I think twenty one. Mm -hmm. Or the, five, the fifth chapter, pray without ceasing. Good. They King David at the psalm pray morning, noon, and after and evening. Yeah. But the scripture in the New Testament it says pray without ceasing. That's right. You know, never you always got to constantly pray. Constantly. Our enemy has certain uh, magi or Chaldeans or witches that pray constantly for our downfall and to keep us in his lowest state. So to counteract that, we got to pray in the name of Yahweh Bashim Al That's our power source because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but principality 
and powers in dark places. But rest, this is a spiritual warfare. You know, because the majority of the minds of the people are locked, sealed by them demons, like I used to watch. What's that movie, Alien? And you know how they send out the damn little, the, the, the damn babies that cover their face? That's the demons. And the scripture is saying, if our gospel be hid, it's because the power of this world has blinded them. You know, but the elect, they're going to obtain this. That's right. Yeah, how do you obtain it? By hearing the word. That's right. Was Romans, what's that? Romans, the 10th chapter. Yeah, bring it on up. You know? Hey, do you get it? Bring it on up. It says, um, it says, uh, let me see. Watch you therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And right. To stand so the ugly before the Son of Man. And be able to stand before Yahweh Shai. Yahweh White, Yahweh Shai. You know, and to withstand the hell that's about to come. Because, I mean, I mean, brother, I mean, Stevie Wonder could see that some hellish time is coming. And how you know this? That's why Jake, all of a sudden now, Jake want to straighten up. Yeah. But you straighten up according to what, though? You know what? What can you do against what Trump is bringing on your ass? The only way out of that is to trust in Yahweh while Yahweh is shy. That's right. And two-thirds of our own people don't trust in Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. They don't know it. So you have no hope. <laughs> they don't need it's, no it's, it's, it's no, no cloak. And if you, and a lot of you assholes know his name and you make you make mockery of it, you're going to pay for that. Yeah. That's why the Lord said, I will laugh in your calamity. You know? Joke times is over, man. All that fun and games. Like we said, man, the Lord, put, man, I said, I mean, through the Spirit, I ain't saying that that's him, but this dude Trump is coming in, coming in like um, Alexander. Now, when Alexander the Creep came into power, he swiftly took caught wreck on the nations. Took them all down. It didn't take him no time. He was swift. That's why he was known as the leopard. Because yeah. he was, and he, and he actually wore a leopard, a leopard skin hat. Yeah. With the, you know, that was his trademark. Yep. That's what he wore. But that was spiritual because he moved quick. And he took down. Taking down. Huh? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say he took down the whole known world in 12 years. When you read in, in the Apocrypha, you know, it says in, in 12 years he took down the whole known world. So he took down the, the world swiftly. That's why he had that leopard. That's why he's known as the leopard when you read in Daniel. Cut. Yeah, because it's fierceness. And he's fierce. Yeah. That's how Nimrod, when Nimrod was known as the great hunter, it wasn't talking about animals and having a zoo. He was killing people. That's why they feared him. You know, he had to be a hell of a warrior because that's why they feared him. Same thing as Esau. Esau was a rough faggot. Mm -hmm. Cut. So, um, you finish up the, uh, yeah. no. uh, I got uh, yep, I'm a good two and two. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision. And, and who's the one that's going to run that readeth it? The prophets. Because we're the only ones that understand it. We're the only ones that can teach it. For the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak. And for, not lie. Right. This because his words are faithful and true. So everything we read about is actually happening and gonna happen. Ultimately the chip and the nuclear missiles. Yep. yep. You, you got a lot of stupid ass Christians out there that mm -hmm. um they they believe they believe that uh Trump is the antichrist. Bunch of the anti type. The bunch of fools, man. I mean you guys are a bunch of fools. The the Bible tells you that uh, there are many antichrists yeah. going out into the world. Many, and it ain't just one person. What's that? Is out, John? First John. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah, first John. There, there's many antichrists out there. Yeah. Okay, it, the antichrist ain't just one person. The antichrist is anybody wow. that is against Yahweh Shai. So we gonna prove that. And that's two thirds of Israel, and that's the entire world. Yeah. Because the entire world is not uh, expecting a black man to come back and and rain down on the so-called white man. You thinking about that fucking cracker Caesar Borgia. When you think of when you think of uh the Lord, you thinking of Caesar Borgia. You're not thinking of Yahweh Shai, you're thinking of Christ. Like these, like them guys out there who call themselves Israel, Israelites talking about Christ. There ain't no Christ coming. Yahweh Shai is coming, but there ain't no Christ that's coming. Yahweh Shai is the one that's coming. Right. And he's a black man and he's gonna put his foot all up in Esau's ass. And he's gonna take all the other nations down. Not just Esau is going down. Esau is the main one that's going to go down. But all the other nations, any one of them that have a power seat, they all going to be brought down. Because in order for the kingdom of heaven, for him to reign, all these other nations got to be laid down. 
There's not going to be no joint rulership. The kingdom's not going to be set up in Jerusalem and uh, rebuilt after the destruction because Jerusalem's going to be hit, uh, hit with fire. All them uh, neighboring nations round about, they're going to burn that place with fire. And that, because the place has to be cleansed, number one. Yeah. But once it's set up and reestablished and rebuilt, they, uh, they're going to be people uh, over in Russia doing their own thing. Or, or people over in um, China, in China India. doing their own thing. Or over in, in India doing, or in Asia Minor doing their own thing. In subjection, yeah. No, they're going to be in subjection. I, I got a scripture. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'm going to say one thing. Cause that's why you have many, many anti-Christ or many that's against the anointing. It's not just the white man. It's the Chinese, the Japanese. They all know the prophetic scriptures or, or the prophecies of them being in slavery. That's why they join together to try to fight the Lord. Now, the top elites of all those nations, they really work in secretly together. Now, the masses don't know that, but they're all against the anointed because they know the prophecy of that as being put in slavery. So they figure they don't have nothing to lose. That's why you got the UN. That's why you got the EU. Those are all the conglomerates or the heads of state of all these countries or nations knowing that they got to fight against the Lord. And is anointed. Hey, and by the way, speaking, of you said you and you went. You know, Donald Trump is against them motherfuckers too. Yes. You know, you gonna pass some executive orders to get rid of. That's why the scriptures talk about they yeah. shall be hate, hate the whore. They shall hate the whore. And so don't yeah. fire. Yeah, huh? hey, brother, Donald Trump is gonna do some stuff. Yeah. He's already got China hating his ass. First, he yeah. disrespected China, saying that oh, Taiwan, Taiwan is an independent country. When China said, "Motherfucker, that's our country. We control Ch Taiwan. Taiwan is independent." Right, and then um, one of his one of one of the guys in his cabinet made a statement about China. I forgot what he what he had said. Some dis some disrespect, some shit that um China thought was disrespectful, and they were like, "Look, you better take back your words." Sounds like w war words. Yeah, and then on top of that, you you are uh, making he making beef with the Chinese. Yo, the Chinese are uh, own the U.S. debt. <laughs> they're the ones that's basically holding up the United States because they're holding on to the U.S. debt through the um through the uh through the dollar through the dollar bill. Yeah. All the other nations done dump the dollar bill. China's the only one that's holding on to the U.S. debt. They're propping up this system. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If not, if China pulls out, basically the bottom's gonna drop out because they're carrying the U.S. debt. So he's over here talking shit about the uh, the Chinese. Hey. Yeah, but it's all right. It's all good because the Lord got him doing that to bring in this third world's war. Now, that brother made a statement earlier that when the Lord's kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven. That we're we're to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, right? When it's when it's actually in in um when it's actually in effect. So yeah, built up, yeah. Or you know, built up or in effect, yep. all the other nations aren't gonna be around. And this is this is one scripture to back I mean there's many scriptures, this is one that came to my mind. This is uh Daniel seven and nine. It said this is the prop this is the prophet Daniel seeing his vision. He said, I be held till the thrones were cast down. Because we read prior, he's going into the different nations that rule right on the earth, right? You had the Assyrians, you had the Babylonians, Persians, and the Medes, the Greeks, the Romans, on down to you get to America. So Daniel saw all these, he, he saw all these nations ruling all the way to this present day America. Then he said, look, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The different rulerships, the different governments were cast down. Yeah. I, I was there watching till they all were wiped out, man. Meaning America's going to be wiped out. Because guess what? America's one of the thrones that were cast down. That's right. That was the major throne that oppressed the Lord's people. That's right. Yeah. And the Ancient of Days did sit. And that's our that's, um, Yahweh himself, the Father. All right? It says, And the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. So he had a body, he wore a garment, and it was white like snow. All right. It says, and the hairs of his head, like the pure wool. He had woolly hair. Yep. All right. That you see Negroes that they, Negroes that a lot of Latinos have, yeah, and Native Americans. White and woolly. And it was white and it was woolly. It says, whose garment was white as snow, and he, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame. That's the chariots. What you call UFOs? His that's his throne, were like a fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Right, those are talking about the chariots. That's right, because the the circular motion of, of the chariots 
the light spinning around on the chariots is like what? Burning flames. That's right. Spinning yeah. flames. So that's talking about the chariots. See, there's so many scriptures going into the chariots. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. That's why they got that space station out there. That's why they set up that Star Wars program under the Reagan administration. Because they know that the Lord is going to make his second He's going to make his second coming. Yeah. And when he do, he's coming in them chariots. Yeah. That's why Ronald Reagan had that speech where he said, what if we all have one common enemy and we all get together? Yep. So yep. Back to saying how the heathen know that the Lord is coming back for their ass. Yeah. Now you look at the recent videos that um, a lot of brothers posted and those good videos, I can, that um, they had one chariot sucking up water. Yeah, yeah, one, that yeah one. one chariot cleaning up a, a, a chemtrail. Hey, the Lord is bad, man. And he yep. just letting them come as first just to play with Esau, but just to let you know he's coming. And that's part of that fearful constellation that they're going to see. You know, that's part of the wonders of, and the signs in the heaven that the Lord is making about to make his second coming. Yeah, yeah they clean up the earth, and the biggest filth of scum on the earth is the so-called white man and the other heathen counterparts. Yeah, man, it's those so-called white people. It's so called white people. Hey, you're looking at your end, man. Yeah. You're, at, you're at the end of your, your faggot-ass rainbow. And that's the M&T. All right. Yeah, matter of fact, you want to bring it? Yeah, I'll bring it up. Yeah, bring that one up. You know, we're at the end of Esau's rainbow, man. This is it for your ass. And like I said, Donald Trump is moving moving like a nuclear. <laughs> you right? Yeah. Come on. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21 says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. And they rejoice. Wait a minute. Donald J. Trump, I, I watched the inauguration. Yeah. Them, them, them hunkies was rejoicing, man. Yeah. The common hunky. Yeah. Make America great again. Because they really, because it's not, it's not hard to fool a hunky, and Jake know that going back to slavery. You know, we Jake ran game on Esau, mm -hmm. yeah. all the way up until the days of the, you know, the prostitutes. Wait a minute, how they got the name hunky? Because they go hunk the horn for the prostitutes in the Jake yeah, neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah. So they called him hunky, right? And Jake used to play him. Jake was like, "Look, give me some money, yeah, man. I'm gonna give you the baddest princess, man. You sure? You sure she's bad?" Man, come on, she's the black princess. Bet you're a black princess. <laughs> All right. Well, where is she? She's in that building over there, man. In the door, in door number three. <laughs> door, you sure? She, she sure? Yeah, man, just bring her some flowers and she'll be waiting for you. Then a cracker go up in the damn building. First of all, it's a dangerous ass building. Like a Cabrini Green or a, or the Greens of Bridgeport building. <laughs> and he'll go up in there and, um, Knock on the door to be some nigga, some big rough nigga. What the fuck you want, hunky? Yeah. Oh shit, I've been scammed. <laughs> yeah. All right, yep. the so-called white man is not hard. To, I mean, he believe you could tell him any, he'll believe it, man. So Trump sold him that bullshit dream about making America. How the fuck can you make America great again when your money system is done? You're in twenty. What the debt is? What twenty trillion? Uh, yep. Yep. Donald Trump can't reverse that. Yep. He couldn't even dig himself out of his bankruptcy. Yeah, that's a, that's another thing. He, he he's supposed to make America great again, but he, he basically he defrauded on people that did work for him. He defrauded them for their money and declared bankruptcy. And so instead of paying him the money he owed him, he he could cut it down to pay him twenty five cents on a dollar, thirty cents on a dollar, fifteen cents on a dollar of what he owes them, and get the creditors off his back. That he restructured, and you got you still have to make payments when you file that that bankruptcy. You still got to pay the creditors off, but they're not getting. What they supposed to get, yeah, and he yeah. does that. He's done that time and time and time again. He's done that time and time and time again. So this is the guy that's going to make America great again. He can't make no corporations come back here and set jobs up here because they all left because because of the money that they can make having their products made abroad and then shipped back here and sold. So they they're not going to come back here and set up shop here. Yeah. That's the stupidest thing in the world. Hey, hey, hey can I say this too? You remember yeah. fucking Donald, uh, oh, Mr. Don, Donald Trump was working with the fucking Gambinos. It's a damn mob affiliated guy. Yeah. You know he's a scumbag. To build them casinos, you have to be a real cutthroat to, 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 to be in that business, man. You have to be a gangster. His father was a scumbag. Yeah, so yeah. you know how many underhand deals he had made, people whacked and everything else? America's a joke. Just like over there in um, Russia. What's my man? Putin, you know what, what's the what's the what's the um, mafia called over there? The KGB. They, no, 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 the mob. Um, oh. You know the Russian mob over there. The They're Russian all tied. Yeah, those who run every the damn Russian, thing. Russian They're fucking gangsters. Oh, yeah. You know, this is, all the rulers of this world are all damn 
scumbag gang affiliate gangsters, man. And you people in the puns. Yeah. <laughs> so back at Lamentations 421. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. So we're living in a time now. If you go out there, what, what's the what, what's the mood out there now? Esau's rejoicing. They're glad. You know? Yep. Donald Trump is making all these promises. He's going to get to clean up these niggers. They're going to do this and that. Make America great. Yeah, in other words, bring America back to the 50s, which that could never. That's impossible. It's you can't do it. You can't do it. It's not happening. It's not happening, Captain. But you know what? Deep down, yo, Trump knows that it can't happen. He pulling the game on you assholes. Yep. So be glad. Rejoice. Be glad. Go on. That dwellest in the land of Uz. Uz is, a, is an ancient, uh, ancient territory in what was once called Edom. Where you white people originally came from. Yep. What's your modern day Uz? America. Because yep. this is your capital. What's capital the, of all the places where the so-called white man rules on the planet Earth, what's his top place? America. United, the, these United States of America, man. Yeah, yep. so it is uh, New York City. That's why it's known as the Empire State. That's why you have the UN building right there. This is the capital. Or the, the for, you know, that's why the law has a lot of prophets in New York. Because Esau set up shop there. Yep. That's Cap right. Capital of his empire. Yep. Go, go on. It says, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Now, what's that cup? That cup is that slavery in hell that we had to endure. Yeah. All right? I mean, the, the last 400 years under this modern day, under under, under Esau in this, in this modern time. But you got to remember the cups that we had to drink going back to the time of the Assyrians and Babylonians. Yep. Yep. Well, going back to Egypt, yes. all the way up to... The series after going up after King Solomon's time, yep. after Solomon's death, we were we were left open to the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Persians, Persians and the Medes, the Greeks, the Greeks, the Greeks Romans. The list goes on, man. So we drank of that cup for thousands of years. So now the so-called white man's getting ready to drink of that cup, and he's going to drink down as the scripture is going to say. Read on. Yep. So it says, uh, the cup also shall pass through unto thee, thou shalt be drunken. And they're going to be drunken, meaning meaning, they're going to catch pure, unadulterated hell. All right? And we you know, and like brothers always brought out that for years, man, remember, we've got that spiritual power. We're going to be able to kill them and bring them right back and put more hell on them. Death is not going to be an escape anymore. Yeah. Yeah. For, the, for the wicked. Yahweh Shai said, you shall do more of greater works in my name than I did. Remember, Yahweh Shai was bringing men back from... Uh, yeah, you raised the dead. Women, Lazarus. The dead. Yeah. You know? That's right. Yeah, that's why the scripture said they shall seek death and they shall not find it. Yeah. Fuckers. That's hell. These are niggas, or even when the slave trade came, you could jump off the, the um, ship. A lot of them used to jump off with their children, yeah. you know, and, and die. Esau, you're not going to be able to do that, man. man That's how to look. Ain't going to be none of that. Ain't going to be none of that, white boy. You know? Yeah. You finish your lamentations? No, a little more. It says, um, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. And make yourself naked. And Esau, right, the time we're in now, Esau is naked. All the nations know you for your foolishness. Yeah. They know you're the so-called white man. All the nations on the earth know you're a fraud. All the dirt is coming up. Then you get mad because the a your Arabs call you the great Satan. Yeah. You are the great Satan. That's right. What the, but what the Arabs don't realize is they're not the people of the Lord. You're Satan too. I mean, the so-called white man is great Satan, and you're Satan. Yeah. All right? Yeah, you're, one of angels. <laughs> you're one of his angels. Everything you got was through the so-called white man. Wait a minute. The United Arab Emirates... The, um, what's, what's that? Saudi Arabia. Those are some rich ass countries, man. Yeah, yeah. They said a common man drives Ferraris and some shit like that. Look at yeah. Dubai. That's du a Dubai. Man -made. Yeah, look at that. It's a man made city. That place is beautiful. Man. Yeah. yeah, but they they got they they get that yeah. shit on their own. They got that shit from doing business. That's why in Revelation it tells you how the nations are going to be crying when they see the burning of Babylon. Yeah. Because yeah. how did how did Dubai and the places come into being through the so called white man? Right. Yeah. They could talk all the shit they want. But they were, but from them being on the so-called white man's shoulder, shoulders is how they got their power. All the nations yeah. on this earth. That's why you had, to, like, when you deal with law, they have the UCC, the Uniform Commercial Code or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. When you deal with the UCC, that goes back to the Roman Empire. When you use the UCC, no matter what nation, what language, the UCC always makes sure you got paid. 
no matter what, that was the, the, the common denominator of all the nations getting paid. That's why they love Rome so. And today's the modern day Rome, and they're all getting paid through the tariffs and everything else, whatever. Yeah. All in Japan with the, the shipping of the cars, whether well, it's the damn sand niggers, the Ishmaelites over there with that oil. Yep. And Esau is making sure they get paid. Just another footnote. Right. All right. Like you said, that got oil. Oh, yeah. no, we're rich because of our oil. Who are you selling the oil to? Yeah. yeah. Esau. Who's funding you? Yeah. And another thing, they have certain cars or certain chemicals where you don't even need fucking oil no more. So Esau could do away with that. And anybody who came out that patent, um, General Motors and everything bought those patents uh-huh. up. Yeah. So you can't bring it or bring that out. So they can still let them damn sand niggas make money. Yeah, so now let's yeah. say Esau said, fuck it. Yeah. Let's come with the vaporized water, the, the vaporized automobiles that solar, run off of water. Solar cars. Solar, yeah. solar cars. Yeah, they got cars that run off water. They got you, cars that can run off you, garbage. You, you, electricity. you, you yeah. sand niggas are going to go right back to riding your camels and eating camel meat, which you probably still do, right? But you're going to be riding your camels and having camel races. No more Ferraris. No more Lamborghinis. Nope. You know? That's and right. then another thing, too, one of the main reasons why they didn't take that oil and make it obsolete because that justifies them going over there and putting that pipeline through so they can conquer your land. Because he's oh. not making you let go of that money, but he's going to go and rob you. Oh, ass. speaking of pipeline, man, this dude, Donald Trump, just passed an executive order pushing that pipeline over there in the Dakotas. Man. Now, you Gaddites, you Native Americans that were out there rallying in the blizzards. Yeah. There was a freaking major blizzard out there that, that, yeah. um, that crippled that whole region. Mm-hmm. And Gad was still out there rallying. You know, to stop them from building that pipeline. But guess yeah. what? Donald J. Trump done passed a, a, an executive yeah. order to push that pipeline, no yeah. matter what. Yeah, yeah like any new Speedily. List. That was number six on the list. Uh, number six on the list. On the list. See, <laughs> Elder Ibadi got the list over here, man. Let's, oh, going back, if you just joined yeah. us, you know, we brought out the article earlier on pbs.com, uh, right? It says 12 executive actions Trump has signed so far. All right, and number six on the list is talking about that pipeline that they, you know, they took from, they, they tried to push on the Gaddite's land over there in Dakota. Right. So that's number six on the list, baby. And the list goes on and on. Yeah, that's beautiful. Man. And a type of Jacob's trouble, boy. Oh, I can read that. Jacob, and Jacob, because it's of you Negroes, you Latinos, and Native Americans. You're Jacob. Yeah. And here we come. we're coming into them troublous times. Yeah. Come on. I'll just read a little bit. It says, speeding approval of Dakota Access and Keystone Oil Pipelines. President Trump ordered that permits for the Dakota Access Pipeline be approved in an expedited manner. Meaning he's trying to uh, speed it up. Yes, including easements or rights of way to cross federal areas. Okay. So basically, that they, they got a thing called eminent domain. So if your land is right there, if they want to bring a highway through that area and your land is there, through under eminent domain, they can take it. If you got a farmland there, you got farmland, crops, horses, whatever, you're going to have to move all that shit out of there and they're just going to take the land. Eminent through eminent domain. So the United States government, and then that's just them doing the same thing that they did back when they took this land from Gad and signed over 400 and some odd treaties with the, uh, with the Native Americans, and they kept not one. So that's all it is. Yeah. So the yeah. scripture say, move not the landmark? Yep, move not the not, not neighbor's landmark. Yeah. So that's what the so-called white man is doing. He's yeah. doing the same thing that he's always been doing. Covered yeah. lands. John 10 and 10. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I say he covered his lands and everything else. It's just a footnote for you simple-minded North American Indians. This ain't your fucking land anyway. I mean, what the white man done, our true land is Israel or Jerusalem, man. You know, this land this land right here was set for destruction in a place set up for our punishment, man. Yeah, our captivity. This is our prison house. So yeah, should... yeah. Uh-huh. Literally. We done. Well, let, let I, I, got, I got John 10 and 10 real quick. John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not before to steal and to kill. That's the so-called white man. He, he's a thief. He cometh not before to steal and to kill. That's all he's coming for. He's coming to steal, steal your land, steal your resources. Yeah. Now, Doug, through there, through the Dakotas, it's oil through there. Yeah. So they're going to run that pipeline through there whether you like it or not. It don't matter what treaty you got that was signed back in 18 this, 1800 and this, or 1700 or whatever. It doesn't matter. 
they gonna build that pipeline through there and they just gonna they gonna shove it right through your ass. Right that pipeline, they're gonna run it right through you. Doesn't matter. Yeah. When they signed the Indian Removal Act and they removed Gadites from that made Gadites move from Florida under Andrew Jackson, I believe it was, from Florida all the way out there, Oklahoma. Yeah. The Indian Removal Act. Yeah. So what what do you expect the so called white men to do? You expect them to be righteous and wholesome? And not only he moved them out of you said Andrew Jackson, which the, which the media is trying to compare this clown with Andrew Jackson, oh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But Andrew Jackson, when he moved them Native Americans out of um, Florida to Oklahoma and different parts, which which is known as a Trail of Tears. Yeah, yeah. And if you if you, if any of you ever drove from drove a uh, automobile from Florida to Oklahoma, you ain't getting there. You ain't getting there for maybe a day. It might be almost a damn near a day's ride. That's a long friggin' ride, man. Cause I drive from Florida, driving through Florida. I've drove driven through the whole length of Florida. That's a fucking drive. From the from the, from the from the bottom of Florida to the top is about a good five six hour drive. Yeah, yep. that's driving. That's just to get from Miami, is. just to get from like Miami to Jacksonville, which by the way they named Jacksonville after Andrew Jackson. Yep, Jacksonville, Florida. Right to get from Miami to Jacksonville, brother. That you get there's that's about a good six hour. That's a long ass drive. And if you're driving to New York from there, boy, by the time you get to Jacksonville, like damn, yeah. you, you still got a hell of a ride to go because you ain't you just hit in Georgia. Yeah. So imagine being on foot doing that. So they walk from there to Oklahoma, which is west. Oklahoma is north of Texas, man. Yeah. That's a long walk, dude, on foot. Yeah, and then you're gonna say the so-called white man ain't got nothing to pay for. You know, kind. Right? Yeah, you call it uh, manifest destiny. Well, mm -hmm. it's gonna be manifest destiny when we right. slap them chains on you, right? And drag your ass. Right. The, the time right now is manifest destiny. Your time of going down, yep. and our Lord and Savior Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, coming back to reclaim His turf and His people, and, make, and His people to make that is the men, starting with the elect, to be the joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. In this kingdom that is to come. And all the thrones will be cast down, man. All the rulerships, all the governments of this planet Earth are going to be cast down. According to the prophecy we just read. Anybody holding anything? Son, this is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. And to destroy. It's the so-called white man. All he, does, he steals, kills, and destroys. How did he get America? And, that's, and that, even when you bring that subject up of how the so-called white man got America. They, nobody wants to talk about that. No, nobody wants That's to talk about taboo, that. That's fucking taboo, dude. Yep. Don't talk about slavery. Don't talk about how the white man got this country. Now they're now they're fucking now they're making it now they're now they're, now they're buttering it up now. Cause I was listening to this devil, Michael Savage, not too long ago. And his thing is, look, all right, yeah, we did come over here and did what we did, but look how they were living before we got there. Yeah. You know? But yeah, they were yeah, they were they were on a savage state. That's why the Lord allowed you to take them down. But the Lord's gonna take that savagery away from his people and make us lords over you. Hey, not for nothing. How the fuck Esau gonna sit there like he's so perfect and clean? Even in their lowest estate, a lot of the northern tribes and the uh, southern tribe, J Judah and uh Gad and so on, didn't know disease until the so called white man came. They forget about that part. Yeah, yeah. See, and, they, and Esau puts that in his history books. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So yeah, it brought pigs and everything else over here in disease. Cause y'all was over there popping each Rats. other. Yeah, but they was over there popping each other on them damn <coughs> them ships on the way over here, and, and eating all kind of filth, doing all kind of vile things, and bring that filth to even in our lowest estate. They brought lice more clean. Lice. They, they brought lice. lice. Yeah. That's right. Uh, rats. Yeah. yeah, lice and mice. They said the common cold we didn't know until the white man conquered us. Yeah, see, it's common to you now because you yeah. were born. We were born in this filth alongside the devil, you know. And we're eating his diet. And we're eating his garbage. And we're eating garbage that he wouldn't even eat. Because if you go in your local ghetto ass stores, the stuff you see on them shelves, you ain't seen them in there in his shelves. You ain't gonna go to Greenwich, Connecticut, or. Yeah. Anywhere you go, Scarsdale, New York, and find um yo yo what was what, it? What's them uh, shit? Not your yeah, ramen. You gonna find no fucking ramen noodles on their shelves. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna find no honey bun. What's it called? 
It ain't even called a honey bun. Host, at least hostess called a honey bun. Y'all niggas call it some shit. Honey, honey rolls. Sydney, Sydney, buns. Sydney buns. All right. Oh, there we go, right there. Trump. Sign the border security. Yeah, he, no, look at this guy. Look, 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 that's sick. Look at his face. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yo, Trump. Trump looks like a dare. That's, that's, that's an eagle. You got an eagle face, a proud red, fat eagle face, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, that's why he liked hey, like his inauguration. Hardly nobody came, but look how many came for his protest. He said, "I'll get you, he'll get your numbers up one way or the other." And when you watch all those people <laughs> protest against you, he said, fuck them people. And that's why he's signing away. Yeah. First of all, most of the people protesting are faggots and lesbians. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we were in New York. We were speaking last Saturday. We were nothing but a bunch of fags and dykes. Hey, how do you feel about women's rights? Yeah, dude, talking about women's rights. You fucking faggot freak. Yeah. <laughs> and that shit was all about abortion, man. Yeah, you got it right or right. The woman got it right. And they brought out, they said the, um, the rate of abortions is lower. Only five million this year. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Five million. Wow, that's a lot. But it's said that's little. That's little. Mm. But anyway, what we're we holding here. Let's bring out the words. Yeah, that's it. So the thief coming not but for the steal, to kill, kill and to destroy. destroy. That's you, just you fucking white people, man. Yep. I'm finish up in Lamentations. Yes, bro. Bring that back out. It says on uh, verse twenty. Uh, Lamentations four twenty two. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yeah, we're coming to the. Uh, uh, read that part again, bro. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter. Right, of our thine punishment. We're living in a time now where our punishment is accomplished, man. The Lord's going to take. He's going to wipe those tears away from us, starting with the elect. You know, two thirds going to die on this side. On the other side, you'll be good. But all this common hell, all this bullshit that we're going through, is just, which is nothing but bullshit. It ain't nothing to be a hell, no, I'm cut to hell. Fuck it, man. It's bullshit, dude. It's lightweight. How much more of the blessings we're going to get? You know? Yep. But we're living in that time now. So the Lord said our, our, the pun our punishment is accomplished. Go on. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yeah, there's no more captivities, man. I'm saying, when you go back into the book of Kings, the first Kings, second Kings, all right, after Solomon, after Solomon um, died, um, you had Rehoboam, and then you had the split when Jeroboam took the, um, the ten tribes and went their way, and there was, inf there was fightings amongst Israel, and then ultimately the Lord said, you know, and then, and then every king we got was wicked. When you read Kings, this one was set up. He became wicked. The Lord killed his ass and set this one up. He became wicked. Very seldom a righteous king came up. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna go back into the history, man. Which you know, the next show we do, we're going to bring up in history. There was a, there was a um, king that was like, I think it was like nine or ten years old, and he was wicked, and the Lord killed his ass. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two might be repentant, and the Lord had mercy, added years to him, but very few. I think it was just one that repented, and the Lord added more years. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yep, 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 yeah. So, the reason why I brought that up is because from them times, we went into captivity after captivity after captivity. Now the Lord said, no more shall we be bring, brought into captivity again. Yep. You're talking to you so-called Negroes, you Latinos, Native Americans. You're the Israelites, man. All right? You're the chosen people of God, who you call God. Hey, not for nothing. And his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Yep. All oh, praise you, y'all, watching now, Shai. And one of the reasons the Lord always put us in judgment, I mean, put us in captivity for breaking his laws, statutes, and commandments. That's why Hebrews 8 and 8, the Lord said that this is the new covenant where he's going to put the law, statutes in our inward part and change us in the twinkle of an eye. Therefore, we ain't going to no more in captivity. Then we're going to be truly righteous and be that true pre nation of priests and kings, man. Yeah. You're coming in this to become a priest and a king, a sovereign. That's, a, that's what you're coming into this, to serve the Lord right now, to, to seek out the elect, the kingdom of heaven, and you're learning how to be sovereigns, man. That's, you're never going to find this knowledge nowhere else, man, except through the spirit of your Yahweh Yep. That's right, man. Anybody else hold something? No, that's it. It says, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. So the Lord, he said, he's gonna, the Lord said he's not going to put us into captivity anymore. He's going to set us back up. And he's going to visit the so-called what? Who's Edom, according to the Bible? Israel, Israelite 101. The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Right? 
The Lord said he's going to visit the so-called white men. So you can go sit there and trust that this dude, bird face Trump, is going to get you out of whatever little rut you're in. All he's going to do is put you in a bigger rut. He's going to put more hell on you. And ultimately, those missiles are going to come and rut your ass out of here. That third world's war is about to brute, man. Oh, I'm going to say this, man. You know how Kim Jong-un been shooting up his little missiles and saying, look, America, what are you going to do about it? And all these years, America never said that to him. Yeah. They have this war on fucking um, terrorism. Yeah. But you have a country toting missiles. Somebody's going to shoot it on your ass. Oh, we made a missile that could reach California. That could reach Alaska. Yep. And you don't hear nobody saying a peep. Say Guess what? Now you got Donald J. Trump in there. Yeah. 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 Boy, he was like, you know what? I'm tired of this shit. He North Korea, you're done. Too. Huh? He got diarrhea of the mouth, too. Yeah. Hey. North Korea, you're done. You're We're not going to put up with no country. Shit. Yeah. We're not going to put up with no country threatening our great United States. We're going to fucking do... Matter of fact, where's the executive pen? Where's the executive order pen at? Yeah, all right. North Korea should be... A, they will be blown the fuck off this earth tomorrow, you know? <laughs> and then, hey, hey, brother, don't be, hey, ah, we're living in, brother, hey, ah, I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Things can happen like that now, man. This jack off in here. You know, that's why us here got to be on our P's and Q's and all the all the brothers just be on our P's and Q's, man. Yeah. You know? This is your Shai's thing. The Shai loves us, man. Just stay in this thing, man. Remember our first love and stay strong. That's all we, this is all we got. All you need. All you want. Man, well, how was I tell the lady at the well? Drink this water, you'll thirst no more. You'll thirst no more. That's right. All right, all right, I bud ya. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And he's going to discover the so-called white man's wickedness, man. Yeah, I mean, he's going to pay you back for all the wickedness you've done. Yeah. All the genocide, all the... Yeah, the white man thinks... The stealing. Right. The so-called white man thinks he ain't going to pay for nothing. You're going to pay. And you're going to pay dearly. From your elites on down to you common Edomites out there that think I didn't do, I didn't do anything wrong. You fucking devils. Only the devil will say I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. You know? And with that, hey, it's, 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 I want to say Shalom, shalom you know, shalom, shalom. to the, right, to the apostles, you know, you know, yeah. blessed, yeah, much blessings to the apostles. The rest of you brothers out there is kicking this yeah. word heavy. And um, we, I mean, we should have went live today, but Lord, one of the next show we're gonna do very shortly is gonna be live. We're gonna put it out there. This should have been a live show, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's you know? right. But it's all right. It's all right. We're gonna put a live show about there, brothers. Just hang on tight. All right, Lord willing. All right. Break off your hawa shim your shy. Break off thumb. All you brothers out there, man, stay strong. Yes, sir. Shalom. Shalom.